Bible, it's particularly the Old Testament, is full of discussions and methodologies and everything else about what I refer to as sacrificial scapegoating. And from everything that Jesus teaches us, and from comments like is in Isaiah, first chapter of Isaiah for an example, the, the entire sacrificial system that was instituted in uh, Israel seems to be against God's heavenly will. So that means it wasn't something that was orchestrated by God, but something that was orchestrated by the priests. And there's an example of this where Jesus says that Moses allowed you to give your wife a certificate of divorce, but from the beginning that was never God's intent. So we have these examples, and I believe that this sacrificial system is also the same kind of thing. It's scapegoating. So people didn't have to face their own sins and crimes and everything else. They could pass off, pass off all of their uh, sinful nature into an innocent animal and kill that animal. Now, a lot of people will say, well, we don't do that today. That's true. But we are sacrificing animals to the idols of gluttony and greed. And we're killing far more animals than the ancient Israelites killed. We're killing animals in the billions. So there's something wrong. We have to face up to the fact that we're not superior in created being to the animals that are here. We we're all created as living souls. Now, we may have had more responsibilities. We were supposed to free creation from its corruption. We were supposed to protect creation from its corruption. And what did we do? We corrupted it even more. It's time we change. It's time we face the reality and feel the pain and suffering that we are causing as a society. To every single one of us and make a difference in this world with empathy. We can do it if we want to. Amen.